Hey there, I'm Michelle, and today on Winning the Money Game, I'm answering some questions. So my first question here, I'm just reading it from my listeners, from my watchers. How do I manage my cash flow effectively to avoid running out of money? This question was submitted by Monica in Oklahoma. Well, Monica, running out of money is a fear for many business owners. I have been there and sometimes still am there. And when we talk about cash flow and managing cash flow, cash flow is the lifeblood of your business. It is the most important thing to review, to monitor, and to manage. Um, it goes right alongside your profitability, but cash flow is a really, really significant um, impact on your business and your life. When the cash flow is drying up, when it feels like it's constricting, it causes a lot of stress and that stress bleeds out into the rest of our lives. So how do we manage the cash flow, Monica? Well, we get clear on all of the money that is coming in. So what I help clients do is map that out. Now you can do this just with pen and paper if you want. On a spreadsheet is really easy, right? I have a tool, I'll put the link. Um, yeah, I'll put the link in the video so that you can get this tool for free. I'm not gonna charge you for it. Um, so you start by mapping out that income. So if you have clients on a contract, if you have monthly recurring clients, if you've got um, payment plans for clients, uh, contract payments for clients, whatever, however money is going to come in, you start with what you know. What do I know for sure? Put that out into your spreadsheet month by month, right? Client Susie pays $2,500 a month for the next six months. George pays $1,000 for the next 12 months. Joan pays $300 for the next three months. It's as simple as that. Then you map out all of your expenses. So these are monthly recurring. You know for sure these are your fixed costs. This might include your rent, your utilities, your phone, um, software like uh, Dropbox, Google, um, Outlook, whatever it is in your business, um, all of those fixed costs. These are monthly recurring. They happen every month. Regardless of what happens in your business, these things happen, right? So from there, you will be able to see if we start with your income and above that is your beginning bank balance. Then we add in the income for that month we take out the expenses for that month and you'll see what your ending balance will be. So as this carries on and projects out, you'll be able to see if you drop down into a negative cash flow position. And so then you'll know if you need um, to do a promotion, to get new clients, perhaps a lending application, like you need to borrow money, or you're gonna use uh, perhaps a line of credit, or you're gonna put your own money into the business. Um, so that's a really great way of getting a high level, month to month, cash flow projection. But let's talk about how we manage cash flow in the moment, week to week. So. A great way to do this is, again, we start with that mapping out, right? The money that's gonna be coming in week to week. So people pay at different times of the month. Maybe they pay, maybe everybody pays on the first. I don't know, right? But you gotta map this out week to week, right? Every day of the month gets a column. And then the money coming in, and then the money going out. So, I don't know. Uh, Dropbox comes out on the 15th, uh, Canva comes out on the 10th, like whatever day it happens, you just put these numbers in. And then every week you'll be able to see how much money do I have coming in versus how much money I have going out. Do I have enough in the bank and with my money coming in to pay my bills this week? That's it. It's that simple. Now, 
This can feel overwhelming to people if numbers are not your game. And that's why I call this the game of money because it really is, um, it really is a, a game. Oh my God, my dog is pushing my phone around. It really is a game that you need to play and have fun with. Uh, none of this means anything about you. None of this means anything about your business. It's just managing the flow of money in and out of your business. A key component to look at is how money comes in and when and how it goes out and when. So are you using um, appropriate automated forms of payment? So recurring monthly payments set up in a piece of software like Stripe or um, you know, auto pay onto your credit card. Like you wanna make sure these things match up. The biggest uh, gap that happens in cash flow is when you're putting money out but you haven't received money in from your clients yet. I'm Michelle Cooper, this is Win in the Game of Money and if you got any more questions, put them in the comments.